Christmas, guys. Now, you'll be pleased to know I'm not going to sing at the beginning of this video, which will cheer you all up instantly. But I want you to picture the scene. You've got some surprise guests coming over, and there's no desserts or no sweet things in the house. So here, I've got a dessert for you that you can throw together so quickly and so simply with just a few easy ingredients. It's my Cheat Milfoy. And for those wondering, that's not the villain in Harry Potter, but it's my beautiful dessert here. So we've got wonderful layers of pastry and jam and cream, and it'll knock anyone's socks off. To make this, I'll be using about 300 grams of puff pastry. Now, because I'm doing a proper cheat version here, I'm using ready rolled from the shop. And to be honest with you, the stuff is great and a lot easier than making it yourself. 300 milliliters of double cream. About 300 grams of your favorite fruit jam. Now I find the darker fruits work really well and here I'm using raspberry. If you're feeling really naughty, you could always swap that out and use Nutella. One whisk egg. And finally, a little icing sugar to dust over the top and add some extra sparkle. Start by preheating your oven to 200 Celsius and then we're going to work on our pastry. So unroll it onto a board. So you'll find most of your stores will sell it in this oblong shape. But if you've handmade it yourself, then roll it out into an oblong. This one is 23 by 35 centimeters. Next thing I'm going to do is chop it into thirds. And the easiest way to do that is to fold it until it looks like you've got a square and then you should have three parts cut into thirds. pastry cut, it's now time to put it onto some lined baking sheets. So I've just lined these with parchment paper. Now you do want to give these a little bit of space on your baking trays because by their very name they are going to puff up. Next thing to do before they go in the oven is to brush them with some egg. Okay, these are all ready to go straight into the oven. So these were in my oven for eight minutes and they're golden brown, but you need to keep an eye on it and stop your oven when you think they're cooked enough. Now, if you're wondering why I've got a random spoon here, it was just to hold down the parchment paper while they were cooking so it didn't blow up in my fan oven. So whilst those are cooling, which won't take long, it's time to whip our cream. I'm just gonna put all of that into my stand mixer. Now you can do this by hand or with a paddle beater if you want, but as I bought myself a new mixer, I wanna use it as much as I can. So let's get that beating. Now you'll want to beat your cream until you achieve a soft peak like this, and then it's all ready to use. Now it's time to start pulling it all together. So with your three pieces of pastry, you'll want to save the best looking one for the top, like everything in life. So I'm gonna save that one and start with this one. So, on a plate, got it on a plate, and now you're gonna spread a layer of jam on, and it will crush down as you're doing this, but don't worry about that, that's supposed to happen. Now you want to get about half of your jam onto this layer because you've only got two layers that will actually get the jam put on them. And then it's time to get a layer of cream on. And again, I'm using half of the cream because the other half will get used on the next layer. Now, if you're not a complete fan of fresh cream, feel free to mix the cream up a little bit. You could add maybe a dessert spoon of icing sugar or maybe some vanilla and just lift the flavor. I love it the way it is, so I'm gonna keep going like this. And now we're ready for the second layer to go on. And repeat that all again with the other half of your cream and jam. So let's start getting the jam on.
last thing left to do is to dredge over your icing sugar. And there you go, that is one fantastic dessert made completely and finished in about 15 minutes. And that will knock the socks off any shop bought dessert if you put that down. Just look at those layers. Honestly, so easy and so, so, so incredibly yum. Everyone will love you for making this. I hope you've enjoyed watching me make this. If you have and you love Christmas, remember to give my video a really big thumbs up and give me a nice Christmas treat and come back for seconds. My Christmas pudding, chocolate truffles.